So, we're here to help one of Applejack's family. And I notice Applejack's letting Rainbow Dash use her Stetson. Do you hear that? That's the shipper squeeing. <laughs> Apparently I had to hear I can hear through time and space. <laughs> But, yes. On the other hand... Ow. That is the pain screaming of the rarity Applejack. Oh, ow. Ugh. And here I thought they'd just simply be in denial of her flirting with the sheriff. Hmm. I thought she was going to eat it and not care, but apparently that stuff's so spicy, even Pinkie Pie feels it. Mmm. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Olympics. <laughs> ah, apparently, there's a... Apparently, BS means the same thing there as it means here. And Twilight seems intentionally making puns with bullies. I find it kind of odd that Rainbow Dash is the one to tell Fluttershy that that's uncalled for. I'm surprised that's not her common vocabulary. <laughs> we need to be civil with them. Alright, everybody. On three. One, two, three. You know what gets my candy colored magical goat? The fact that this should probably be resolved with violence, and I know it's going to be resolved in friendship or whatever. I'm not going to get a good old-fashioned fist of cuffs and that win the day. Which is a shame, because this guy's actually doing the numbers. He's burning down barns, and of course, Applejack is cursing his name with an echo! Echo, echo. But it's all going to be friendship. Huh, the screaming of the Rarity Applejack shippers has finally stopped. <laughs> but, really, Twilight, this is so artificial. Yes, I could see Twilight taking this kind of higher stance, but if nothing else, there are plenty of ways to do this without violence. She could just simply freeze them, at which point then they she arrests them I mean I know she's not a guard or anything but she is a princess she has probably that yes she's not abusing her power but this wouldn't be an abuse of power she knows they're doing it I mean even if she wanted to do actually no no they came in and demanded the food already she has every reason to arrest them. They're, I know they're doing this because otherwise there's no story, but then they shouldn't have brought Twilight. So, unwilling to use completely peaceful disabling magic that wouldn't hurt them at all, but we're willing to use traps. Great consistency there, Twilight. Because the traps would probably actually hurt them. Maybe. Actually, I just realized they probably won't. Eh, whatever. Oh, by the way, the Rarity and Applejack shippers are screaming again. These guys should be on a metal album cover. <laughs> These guys took barbed wire and fire in the face. Wow. And of course, the sign on the barrel is hilarious. <laughs> Go figure. Both of those mini-comics were nice. The first one, of course, was funny, but that second one was Zakora. That was beautiful art. And, of course, it had Zakora, so automatically plus one modifier to being awesome. <laughs> That's how you open the second part of a two-parter comic. <laughs> I must once again wonder why Twilight's here. 
I mean, okay, you know, she might find some bureaucratic nonsense, but I figure Rarity'd probably have that. No one in this group is an idiot. They're all capable of doing some form of plan, so she's not really necessary. And in the end, if we're going to be going on about making it that the pony that does things has to be specialized in that thing, whereas Fluttershy in convincing the squirrel to get an acorn for them to use as a distraction. Why is Twilight there? This is a gaping plot hole. Because even if, again, even if she wasn't going to just beat the crap out of him, he's extorting. There's got to be some sort of legal precedence for her as a princess of the realm to do something about this. Tampering with legal documents. Oh yes, how very, very legal of you, Twilight. And of course, you know, it's probably illegal to say that they'd never been settled there in the first place. Now, saying they moved away? Okay, yeah, that one I could understand, but just... Yeah, of course, this one little part of the law that probably doesn't even exist... Somebody finally did something violent! Somebody give that guy a, another medal. He technically already has one from his badge, but give that guy another medal! Yes, notarized by Princess Celestia. And by looking at the paper, I see Luna's name there too, but apparently that's not important enough to note. And also, what was that about not abusing power? Because I have a feeling you probably asked Celestia to do this. The premise of her not getting involved magically becomes looser by every word that ha by every panel. Well, up till now, I liked this issue, but now she's using her magic. Because apparently, people being extorted on is n is nothing. Who gives a crap? But, destroying a barn in a historical site, oh, that's... Somebody hug me. I need a hug. And a funeral for logic, because apparently it just died. Killed by the pony that is most obsessed with logic. You know, I'm pretty sure if it's a historical site, you have to go through a whole lot of paperwork to get things repurposed or anything like that. And of course, I'm pretty sure once somebody is turned into an inmate, you're not allowed to beat them for no reason. So we never find out what happened to her great uncle or grand uncle or whatever. This is definitely one of those, if you don't think about it, it's a fun read, but... The abortion of logic. Well, yeah, that's my review of this uh, arc. Bye.